Hi everyone, um, if you've never been to my channel, welcome. Um, for those of you who are subscribed, welcome back. Um, today's video is about um, an update to my ancestry. Um, after viewing the latest update to my ethnicity estimate, um, I'm very surprised because it the numbers changed almost drastically. I don't know if I'm happy about it. I mean, um, I just want to know the truth. I, I want to know, I don't know if it's possible to know a guarantee, being that everyone is so mixed. Um, what I heard when it comes to ancestry is that they test those who have pure blood um, and use that basically as, you know, the ruler or, you know, I don't know. But at first, I'm going to read what my ancestry came back as first. At first, now this my update has been i've been updated twice so i'm going to read the latest update i'm going to read the first update and then i'm going to read the latest update so at first um my ancestry came back as 28 percent ivory coast ghana 26 percent cameroon congo 18 percent nigerian 7% Senegalese, 3% Benin Togo, 2% um, Mali, and then 7% Ireland, 3% French, um, Western Europe, 3% Scandinavia, and 1% Southern Asia. So that is what it came back initially. Now it says I'm 38% Nigerian, 22% Cameroon, Congo, and Southern Bantu peoples, 10% Mali, 10% Benin, Togo, 10% England, Wales, and North, North, um, Northern Europe. Four percent Ghana. Two percent Senegal. Two percent Ireland, Scotland. One percent um, Sweden, and one percent Finland. So, um, like I said, those numbers are totally different. Um, I guess the more people that they test, the more accurate they are. I'm not sure, but the Asian is not there anymore. Um, what else? Western Europe is not there. Scandinavia is not there. So, I don't know how I feel about this, guys. I really don't. Um, depending on how I have my hair, um, I've had a lot of people say, you know, you do, you look Nigerian. You know, I've had a Nigerian say that I look South African. I'm not sure if it's because I'm a lighter brown. Um, but then I've also gotten Ghanan. So, the reason why I first did my ancestry is because I was kind of confused. And I got a lot of people to say, you know, where are you from? You know, because my, my features are, are very strong. You know, I don't really look like the average African-American, you know. Um, 
I do look like I'm more African than American, <laughs> if that makes sense, you know, based on my features. Um, but now I'm even more confused. I don't know if I believe it. Um, if you know of a company who's a little bit more accurate, please comment below because I'm very interested to know what's really going on. You know, I started my ancestry tree a few years ago. Um, and it was kind of hard doing my dad's side. My dad, he looks kind of Asian, to be honest, you know. Um, but my grandmom, his mom, is very, very dark. And my granddad kind of had, you know, those eyes. But my grandma, she kind of had, like, the heavy lids. And I get that from her. But, you know, and then on my mom's side, my mom's dad, he looks like a really dark Spanish guy. And then my grandma, she has like this reddish tone to her skin. She kind of looks, and then her nose is like, you know, kind of pointy, like she looks kind of Native American, you know? Um, so, I mean, obviously I'm really mixed, um, but for it to go from one thing to another and then another thing again is like, what's going on? You know, a lot of people told me that they really don't trust Ancestry DNA. Um, and I kind of was one of those people. I don't listen to others. I kind of want to see it for myself. And now that my results has changed three times now i'm kind of like skeptical you know um tell me how you feel below i mean i don't know i still i feel even more lost than i did in the beginning you know that's the reason why i did my ancestry to be honest i really wanted to know where my ancestors came from you know um yeah, so for those who want to know as far as how the processing go, um, I ordered on February 23rd. This was, I think, 2018. Yeah, 2018. I ordered February 23rd. I received it. I received it March 5th. And then... Um, they received it back March 8th, um, and then they sent it to the lab March 31st. They started processing it April 27th, and then I re received my results May 8th. So yeah, there you go. Um, those are my results. If you'd like to share, please comment below. Tell me what you think. And until later, peace, love, and light.